Hi, I'm Zandy Peters, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a three-stitch left slanting mixed cable, also known as a ditch cable, because these two columns of stockinette stitch are crossing in front of a ditch of purl stitches. I recently used these ditch cables in my Stroop Waffle shawl right here along the edge of the shaping to create the waffle effect. Um, so if you're working in that pattern, this video is for you. I've got my swatch set up here and I've started working up to the cable. I'm going to show you the first one with um, two cable needles. So I'm going to be using uh, locking stitch markers instead of traditional cable needles because they're lighter, smaller, and easier to manage. And then I'll show you the second one without it, okay? Um, if you encounter this stitch in a chart, the symbol will look like this. And the abbreviation in written instructions looks like this. So let's get going. I'm just working up to the spot where my cable begins. And then I'm going to put my yarn back in preparation to knit next. And I'm going to take my first um, cable needle or stitch marker and grab this stitch, drop it to the front of the work. Then I'm going to take the next one and grab it and drop it in the back. I'm going to keep these stitches out of the way while I knit the third stitch in the cable, crossing it to the front. Then I'm going to knit into, um, then I'm going to actually purl into the center stitch from my second cable needle. I'm going to be careful though not to twist it as I do that. And usually I can knit directly off of these cable needles or stitch holders. That's my second stitch. And then the third is um, the left, the stitch that's crossing to the left. So this was at the tip of my needle. Now it's the third in the sequence. I'm going to knit into the front of this stitch directly from the cable needle and slip it off and remove that. So that's how you would do the cable if you're using cable needles. Now, when I'm working in a pattern, I usually don't use cable needles um, for small cables like this because they take a lot of time and sometimes they kind of get in the way or are harder to use physically. So here's how I would do it without the cable needles. Keep in mind that I'm going to drop stitches off the needle. So if you're not comfortable doing that yet, um, you can use cable needles until you feel like you're ready to drop stitches. They shouldn't run unless you pull anything, but if that's scary for you, use the other method. First, I'm going to drop the first stitch off the needle, and then I'm going to take these um, second two stitches. I'm just gonna grab them and pull them to the side. Then I'm going to reach forward with my left hand needle and grab that stitch that was first on the needle. Now it's going to be the third one that we knit in the sequence. Now that I've grabbed that, I need to untangle these two right here. So I'm gonna drop those off the needle. I'm gonna grab the one that was to the right first and bring that to the back. The other one's going to come forward and that's going to be the first stitch that I work. So I'm ready to knit this. I'm going to then just knit, purl, knit. So without the cable needles, you're basically manually rearranging them into the configuration they need to be and then working straight across. If you like this video, follow me on Instagram. My name is Zandy Peters, or on TikTok at Zandy.Peters, or here on YouTube for more knit tips.